With Islamic State suffering heavy losses in Syria and Iraq, many children are being left behind as their parents die fighting for the terror group. Well, RT has been able to uh, film at an orphanage in Iraq where some youngsters were clearly aware of who their relatives were fighting for. Papa. Papa Shahid. Mama. Mama is Shadia. Aftamati Wabat. Mama Wabat is Shadia. Kaif. Afghanistan. Afghanistan. Hold on, Kaif, to offer a book or more. Tank. Tank. Mama. Taya. Shahid. Nasıl sev? Garila. Yandı. Tank tank vurandı yandı. Ciddi. Ciddi. Ayet kan. as if uh, life isn't difficult enough for those children. We have been hearing how countries are grappling with how to rehabilitate potentially radicalised youngsters. We have a moral obligation and a duty now to um, help fix uh, the damage, the lasting damage and the legacy of our intervention and that of previous governments uh, uh, claiming to be acting on our behalf. We have to try and fix the, uh, the mess we have created in a in an evidence-based in a in a moderate way not with bullets i don't think that we can you know straight away go oh you know western intervention is to blame for this isis is to blame for this extremism is to blame for this the parents who were extreme in their beliefs are to blame for this this isn't you know i didn't radicalize these children i didn't teach these children that their parents were martyrs that isn't my doing and that isn't western intervention doing that was the doing of those who were extreme that were behaving in an extreme manner. When a people are under threat of being wiped out, then the people who talk the toughest game, they rise to prominence in such a society. I was, as I was about to explain, like here, when people think that immigrants are stealing their jobs, then anti-immigration uh, far-right parties you know, uh, come to the fore and, and, and rally people around them. What you're saying is the children of the Ariana Grande that were killed by, by a terrorist, extremist, radicalized Muslim, that what those parents should do, you couldn't blame them if they now came out and became violent. I don't want to see any child go through that. And obviously we, we do need to do whatever we can do. But the moral compass is not only on the West. It just isn't. For these children, we need to first help them and put them out of immediate danger and then uh, inculcate a strong sense of identity in them. Uh, as uh, you know, MI5 report in 2008 uh, suggested and, and, and confirmed, uh, a well-grounded Islamic identity, a religious identity, is actually a firewall, a preventative uh, measure to uh, political okay. violence. They need less violence. Islam, not more of it right now. A fierce battle to take back control of a key city. Al Shaddadi, a stronghold and important logistics hub of the Islamic State organization. Less than one kilometer away, the jihadist group's black flag. Get ready to shoot. Backed by U.S.-led coalition airstrikes, the Syrian Democratic Forces, an alliance of Kurdish and Arab militias, surround this region rich in oil and gas, an operation that mobilized some 5,000 troops. We're accused of not treating Arabs and Kurds the same way, but it's not true. Here there are Arabs, Kurds, Christians, we're united. There's no discrimination. Now cornered, the IS militants send in suicide bombers. The car is booby-trapped. Shoot, shoot.
from a different position, another Kurdish fighter films the suicide bomber as he speeds towards the group in a bulletproof vehicle. But rocket fire brings his charge to an end. I'm happy. I'm the one who destroyed him. Well done. God willing, we'll be in Al Shaddadi in two hours. We're going to free the town and raise a flag of the Syrian Democratic Forces. The IS group retreats, but victory takes another few days. Village after village, sniper shot after sniper shot, the SDF fighters make gains. I have to go, but take care of yourselves. You can sleep peacefully without any worries now. You're safe. Those civilians who chose not to flee their homes are relieved and welcome the troops with open arms. The takeover of al Shaddadi by the Syrian Democratic Forces has put an end to a terrifying two-year rule by the Islamic State. This was the town hall, but the IS group set up their Islamic police here. They judged people, they executed them, and crucified them on this pole. Several jihadists were killed in the U.S. airstrikes, but according to Abu Hani, civilian lives were also lost. In this bakery, 21 people were killed. Apart from them, we haven't found civilian bodies in al Shaddadi's streets. In a sign of victory, the Syrian Democratic Forces hoisted their yellow flag in al Shaddadi. They're planning to remove the black and white propaganda of the Islamic State group in the coming days.